The genius model is a 21st century business philosophy that leverages personal brand and automation to create the exact life that you wanna live. The genius model is about freedom. I am Robert Oliver, also known as the Genius CEO. I've done over $600 million in e-commerce sales and I'm an expert in branding, human psychology, and really all things making money online. The genius model is for someone that is hungry and looking to quit their nine to five, but it's also for an established business person that's looking to 10X their income. The genius model is built on principles and not rules. Principles say this works and always has. Rules are prescribed as a means of control. You follow rules when you wanna live within the status quo. You adopt principles when you wanna move boldly into the future and capture something entirely new. If you want to implement the genius model, it will be 100% original to you and you alone. Principle number one, you are a brand, start acting like it. There's two types of people in this world. Those that think social media is ruining the world and those who don't care and are getting rich with it. You've probably also heard a million people say that social media isn't real life, but I have a story for you. I have this billionaire mentor and we probably chat once a week on all things business. I told him when I got serious about social media and basically how my plan was to add value to the world all around Amazon because that's what I'm an expert in. And so I just started on this tangent of creating IG content, creating IG content, creating IG content, you know, stories about succeeding on Amazon, what you need to do to, to build a brand on Amazon. And about a month into this content, he tells me whatever I'm doing must be really working because his wife told him how she really wants to start a brand on Amazon. And you know, she follows me and she's seen the content. You have to use the product, like the product, believe in the product. So truthfully guys, she's an amazing woman, probably one of the best people I've ever met but getting into the nitty gritty of Amazon digital marketing and stuff like that, well, it's probably not for her. But she watched my videos every day. She sees me able to spend more time with my family. She sees the passion that goes into creating something new and making it succeed. And it caught her interest. We try to think of ourselves as these logical and calculated creatures. But the reality is we are so much more driven by emotions and feelings. What you say matters just as much as how you say it and the context of which is said. How you present yourself matters. How you look matters. I feel like everyone is really afraid to say this, but appearances matter. The first group of people that think social media is ruining the world, they absolutely hate Kim Kardashian. The other group knows exactly why she got rich. To pull off the genius model, you need to own a quality branch of media distribution, and for almost everyone, your own personal brand sets the stage here. Principle number two, Free time is the best asset that you can invest in. Some people wanna work less. Some people wanna make more money. Very few people are focused on automating essentially everything they don't wanna do. One of my closest friends and one of the most successful individuals in the Amazon space, he's one of the first people I saw where this really started to make sense. He has his entire personal life automated, right? Not only does he have a housekeeper and a chef, but he literally even has someone that comes over and walks his dog and feeds his dog because he doesn't like doing that. This is personal life automation, but the principles, they ring timeless in this new era. I have another friend, he runs a huge agency and he has damn near every part of the business automated as well. Zapier connections between Google Sheets and QuickBooks, standardized employee onboarding and training with quality management that doesn't bother him that much. Now it obviously took time to get to this point, and he had to sacrifice profit in the short term, but the reward is freedom. And this is something you have to prioritize in the digital age and be at the forefront of. So when you do this right, the choice really becomes more business and more money or more doing whatever it is that you wanna do. And I'm not here to tell you what's the right or wrong answer. I'm just here to help you shape this framework so you have that choice. Principle number three, only hire when absolutely necessary and look overseas. So just straight up with you guys, normal employee management is an absolute nightmare, right? I've built teams in the States. I've you know, had 10, 15 people working under me and the old way of doing things, it creates more stress and headache in your life. Tim Ferriss, I think he's the one who originally popularized the whole four hour work week, but you know, it's that idea of working with overseas VAs and things of that nature. Build your team in such a way that your actual hires, like your actual payroll, it's minimal. 
there's a lot of phenomenal independent contractors out there. We continue to move into this gig economy as well. And so there's all sorts of like really high quality independent contractors that you can have on your team. But again, they're not in your team, they're like with your team. And so I have my Slack built out where I have all of my talent in there, right? And some people are on retainers, but again, there's not many people that are on my actual payroll. I always look overseas. Uh, the reality is United States people have gotten uh, largely spoiled and entitled. Whereas if you go to the Philippines, you'll find someone that'll work for, you know, less of what it would cost in the United States because the cost of living so over there, but just the culture and the hunger, it's on another level. And so I highly advise tapping into that in your own enterprise. Principle number four, ownership is key. And so this all ties back to equity, owning your own thing, right? And so all of your time, all of your money, it needs to go into things that are building equity and will set you free. I've talked about the personal brand, right? This is like low key. People don't think of this as, you know, when they put their time into to building their personal brand, they don't think about it as an equity asset, but it's probably the best equity asset that you can actually have. But the other one, it's, um, you know, there, there's also businesses and assets that you wanna put your time into that will ultimately pay compounding returns in terms of like income and freedom. When I started in the Amazon space, I started as this young kid who was really a consultant. And I got my start by just figuring out that, hey, if you list products on Amazon for people, you're gonna be doing some sales. Like it was that easy back, you know, when I first started. So I'd call up all the top supplement brands. I'd say, hey, you know, I'm Robert Oliver. I know how to sell on Amazon. I, you know, I know how the algorithm works. Well, same stuff I say today, but back then I don't think I actually knew how to do it that well. Or maybe I thought I did, but I'd get these brands listed, right? And the sales would just pour in. And then, so I'd get more obsessed about it. I'd say, wow, like this is a new channel for you. It's already doing 20% of your revenue. They wouldn't be all that interested, right? They have all their other things going. And that's when it all hit me. I was like, oh, I'm tired of building someone else's business. I need to be building my own business. And so that's really what gave me the courage and the bravery to pour in and start my own brand. And this is where I first realized that principle, business and equity is what will set you free. Specifically, ownership is what will set you free. Principle five, synergy is where you find unlimited scale. So this is where you apply your personal brand to enterprise and unlock a new level of freedom. Like just understand from my personal perspective, right? Like I'm the Amazon goat, I know how to build brands. I get people hitting me up every day, like, hey, please take a piece of my company for X, Y, and Z, right? Like literally wanting to give me equity because they know me on board will unlock a new level of synergy. That's a whole nother, I'll probably do another video on that and why you should guard your time and investments, but just some of the other examples here that have been obvious. So you have Emma Chamberlain, one of the you know biggest YouTubers. She launched a coffee company. These are immediately synergistic, right? She's got a personal brand, she's got her new business, they come together and it's just, it's a cheat code. Mr. Beast and all the things he's doing, he's got his chocolate bars, he's got the burgers. All of those are unlocked by his personal brand. And again, there's a level of synergy that goes into all of it. How about Elon? Like Elon leveraging his personal brand literally probably saved Tesla or at very least influenced the stock a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys how to implement this in a smooth and easy way. Like I, I'd like to say almost step by step, but again, this is largely principle based, but I'm gonna give you concrete examples and concrete stories that you can study from, that you can extract, and that you can tap into this new world. I am the Genius CEO. Welcome to my wonderful world of Wi-Fi wealth and fucking freedom.